did you see Rosemary's baby? Yeah. What? No! No! I didn't see Rosemary's baby. A couple of years. You're you're still wearing your headphones. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight, we get a special request. Special request. Granddaddy the Dudester. Coming in hot. What are we watching? Switch from 1991. What the Dudester has to say about it. Never heard of it. He says, arguably Ellen Barkin's finest work. And it's fall down hilarious. I don't know who Ellen Barkin is, do you? Me neither. Perfect. <laughs> but okay. apparently this is her finest work. Well, great. So I can't that. wait to watch yeah. it. So it sounds like it's a comedy since it's fall down hilarious. Okay. And uh, yeah. I've never heard of it. That's weird. It's got Jimmy Smith's in it. Who? Um, he played, um, what's his name, in Dexter season two. That was the DA that turned into a murderer. Okay. 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 But this was like in the 90s. He was in NYPD Blue back in the 90s. So this was like. Just um, before that? Yeah. Just before that. So. Okay. Yeah. Well. Should we jump in and see how fall down hilarious this is? Oh, I can't wait. Let's do it. But first, a like, comment, and subscribe. You could be like the Dudester if you feel like it. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want to get your own special request, just like Dudester. Or you can get early access, full link commentary, access to polls, help us pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram. So if you like social media, you can follow us there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you don't like social media, you could just ignore that. All right. Let's watch. Switch. Okay. Oh, okay. Jumping right into it. Straight into intro music. <sighs> HBO movie. Lovely. Ice cream castles in the air. Ice cream castles in the air. Blake Edwards. This is Switch. Uh, Blake Edwards was Julie Andrews' husband. Hmm. Huh. You're welcome. Do you know who Ellen Barkin is? I have no idea who Ellen Barkin is. It kind of sounds familiar, but then it's like, maybe it just sounds familiar because, I don't know. It's Because to. she was an actress in the eight, yeah. 80s and 90s. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know clouds. I really, I really don't, don't know clouds, know clouds at all either. either. <laughs> Fuck is this song? <laughs> it's, it's an interesting song to start a comedy. Feels more like a soap opera. Hello. Hey, Margo. I'm giving a surprise party Sunday night. Can you come? Who are you gonna surprise? You. Who else is coming? Just Felicia and Liz. Oh yeah. Ooh, surprise. But I'm Looking good, good slick. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. This feels like a weird porno. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not porn. It's HBO. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't a porn. Pretty sure. I'm trying to look that Chai has. What? I'm trying to look that Chai has. Do you need to show me something? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what that sentence means. I'm trying to look what Charlie has. Does she have something or? Yeah. <laughs> I might need your pillow. <laughs> I'll just hit this one. No, for don't you. do that. <laughs> I'm sitting here with three beautiful women who said they hated me. He's living his best life. Sure looks like it. They're about to kill him, I think. What? They're tying him up. I think they're going <laughs> to kill him. We're going to kill you. Oh, what a way to die. <laughs> I wonder what he did that would make them all want to kill him. Oh, 
God. <laughs> now they're regretting it. I think, isn't this her house? Uh, That's the worst yeah. place to kill somebody is in your own home, right? <laughs> I don't think he's dead. Plan B. Well, can they just like say that's self defense at that point? They all get the story straight. <laughs> I mean, the fact that he's tied up, I feel like oh, yeah. limits that possibility a bit. That's an embarrassing way to enter the afterlife. What happens now? Well, on one hand, you've earned enough credits to get you into heaven. On the other hand, you've been so consistently rotten to women, you deserve to go straight to hell. That's pretty rotten. <laughs> they all hate you. All of them? As, as far as, as I know. know. What about his mom? So I've decided that you should go back and try to find one female who truly likes Steve Brooks. Just likes him? Okay. Good morning, this is Ross Britton. It's 8 o'clock in the Big Apple, and here's Keith Slaughter and the Butchers playing... So they got going time. back in time to before his death, or... I guess he got shot in the chest right yeah not sure how that works yes i wish to lodge a complaint what, what is, is it this, this time? time i have as much right to steve brooks's soul as you do i wish to lodge a complaint what do you suggest teach him a lesson turn him into a female <laughs> make him a woman yeah, the devil's got some tricks up his sleeves. That would be a confusing feeling. To all of a sudden wake up and have a vagina. I'd get pee everywhere. <laughs> oh, Mr. Brooks? Do you want I should call SWAT? No. <laughs> SWAT. <laughs> Are you sure you don't need a backup? Maybe you fainted or something. I guess I must have fainted or something. That's Ellen Barkin. She doesn't look familiar. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Can imagine a man like him would be very concerned about his missing penis, right? Max, like, what's in the mirror? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Better figure it out fast. Because here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I fucking am. <laughs> Is this his? Well, I, I'm a sister. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm his half sister. Yeah, we, we have different mothers. Still got his pants around his ankles, or she? Oh. What are we going with now? <laughs> How you doing there, Mrs. Weatherspoon? Guess if you suddenly developed boobs, you would be uh, uh, probably holding them a lot, huh? That's all I'd be doing. For at least a day. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm sure this isn't a porno. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Walter. How you doing, buddy? Who's this? Who is this? I'm a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Amanda. I'm Steve's sister. And wait till you get a load of me. I'm blonde. I'm about, I don't know, about 5'7". Built like a brick shit house. Brick shit house? Is that a good thing? Sh sure. A brick shit house. I mean, I wouldn't describe you that way, but... That's a new one. I guess it means like most shit houses are made out of wood. If you make one out of brick, it must be a nice one, right? You, you must really like your shit house. Yeah. Okay. What? 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 Ah! Who are you? Get out! Oh, yeah. Me! Call the police! Okay. Oh, yeah. And you could tell them all about that little party you threw last night. Yeah, she was sleeping pretty good for uh, having just killed someone, huh? 
We tried to drown him in the hot tub, but Margot shot him three times in the chest. Mrs. Rothman, don't call the police, May. Forget the police. <laughs> you know, they say that the eyes are the windows to the soul, huh? Look into my eyes, Margot. Whose soul do you see? It's me, Margot. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Reincarnated as a gorgeous female. Look deep, Margo. <coughs> you better believe it's slick. I think she believes him now. That was a nice touch. Like a nice... The way that she grabbed her and like stuck her hand underneath the strap of her... That was a nice touch. And you are going to teach me everything I always wanted to know about women but was afraid to ask. <clears throat> what are men afraid to ask women? Everything. Oh, I'm an open book. You I'm can ask, ask me you anything. A lot of things. Ask me. Ask me anything. Maybe later. Like, how do you walk in heels? <laughs> okay, I don't have all the answers. <laughs> you can yeah, ask me anything. I can't answer all of them. You can't walk I'm, in heels. I'm either. still trying to figure it out myself. It takes a lot of practice really have to focus on keeping your body weight evenly distributed on your foot. Is that the devil? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Just checking in. Apparently a brick shit house gets a lot of looks. Uh, Amanda? In the flesh. And what about that flesh, huh? Yeah, <laughs> So what do you think? Did you get a good look at my legs? <laughs> Jeez, would you check out that ass? Boy, how'd you like to give her a little punch in the pants, huh, Walt? Jeez. <laughs> you heard anything? No. It's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh god look at the outfit like a pink dress a red handbag and green shoes like not ideal didn't she borrow margo's clothes too? yeah she could have picked something matching though huh? what, what, what's this here what what it's a note it says to walter but where'd you find it <laughs> pulled it out of her purse dear walter i'm fed up with my life <laughs> I decided to chuck it all and start again like Gauguin. She just put her handbag over her neck. <laughs> so long, Steve. Was that uh, his handwriting? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? He's really gone. She's her 40 year old virgin. Jesus, you must have been really crazy about him, huh? <laughs> I I hated him. I always cry when I'm really, really, really happy. <laughs> Daddy found her. That would have been easy. Yeah. I only cry when I'm really, really happy. Steve's sister. Half sister. Brick shit house. Well, we're going to miss him. Uh, he was one hell of an advertising man. I think he can be improved on. How's that? Why don't you take me to your office? I'll tell you how's that. Oh, oh boy. Who do you work for? You, I hope. <laughs> got some work. Doesn't know how to sit like a woman. <laughs> got, some, got some work to do. He told me you pay him 200 a year plus fringes. I'll take 250. Why should I pay you more than Steve is getting? Steve didn't give you a hard on. It's got to be worth something. Does that mean I need to pay you more? Damn straight. <laughs> About double what you're paying me now. Double the sex. You got it. <laughs> I was going to say, pay me zero now. What so. adjective would you say uh, best describes him? Asshole. <laughs> I could also be a noun. Major. 
asshole. <laughs> oh, he's straight. She is. He's um, striking out. Not finding. Not finding a girl. Eight o'clock. Couple of beers at Dukes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. See you later, bud. She's doing a great job of being completely uncomfortable in that body, right? right? What do you think? Uh, you think I'd look good in something like that? There's not much you wouldn't look good in. I bet you say that to all the boys who become girls. <laughs> We're about the same size, aren't we? A 34C, right? Um, uh... No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to do that in a bra fitting. <clears throat> I don't know how else you're supposed to size them. <laughs> Including cosmetics, perfume, and jewelry, it's $41,611.89. $41,000? Fuck, she buy a fucking car? <laughs> she never lets me pay for a thing. If I tried, she'd probably shoot me, dump me in the river. <laughs> Just that little bag. Must have got diamonds. Here she comes. Look at that walk. Feet's gotta be killing her after walking <laughs> the heels all day. Look, I just think that when a man talks to a woman, a woman talks to a man, that it should be more uh, romantic. You know? Say, I'm horny, I like to get laid, this is not okay for a woman to say. Now you sound like Laurie Steinem. <laughs> he wasn't the nicest guy in the world. No. He loves kids, though. And he does things for people that nobody ever know about except for maybe me and the shrink that he was seeing for about six months. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Shake. He's like Popeye. God? No. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I really, really, really want to go to bed with you. I don't have a sister, and even if I did, I don't think that he would. Oh, oh, he would. <laughs> if you could, yeah, sure. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> it's me, Walt, Steve. I died, and uh, God wouldn't let me into heaven. I gotta find one female who likes me. That's not gonna be easy. Hey. You believe I'm Steve? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Does he really, though? <laughs> He's drunk, he'll believe anything. I still like to fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I miss the days when I used to be able to eat a whole pint of ice cream just for a snack back in high school. Those were the great, good old days. a lot of ice cream yeah i've never tried eating that much at one time it's like a it's like they stole a bucket from just basket, basket robins. Robins. yeah you sound stoned three you getting high trying to figure out what to do about me <laughs> she's good coffee coffee please that's why your assistant hates you also why does one person have a secretary I'll never understand that. Get your own fucking coffee. Because he has a lot to do. Open your own drawers. Uh, Stephen Brooks gave you his recommendation, so I was wondering if maybe you could uh, tell me a little bit about it. How many names he got in that little black book? A lot. I bet none of them like him. <laughs> you all right? No. Red. Fever or something? It's probably too much rouge. <laughs> I think I need salt because I keep cramping up. Okay, cramping down. <laughs> keep cramping up sitting there taking pictures. Sister. You never told me you had a sister. Well, I'm his half sister, really. Oh, Walter. You never Shh, just keep staring at her boobs. You liked them a lot, didn't you, Connie? Sure. <laughs> She's like, Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Tell me the truth. He's a putz. Sorry. You slept with him. Sure. And here I am on the cover of Dream. You know, you're gorgeous. You ought to be a dream girl for December. Looks familiar. Yeah, she's like a famous actress. I just don't remember her oh, is that name. Why she's in a movie? Yeah. 
Well, I have an idea here that might be just as good, maybe even better, for Haycrest Foods. Home movies. Did you discuss this idea with Steve? No, why? And I came up with almost exactly the same concept. Really? I called Steve immediately and told him about it. Steve really called him? No. Or he really called Steve? No, nah, he is lying. Trying to make her look bad. Stealing her idea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Since you know about the apartment, why don't you let me give you a personal tour? It's you uh, fucking prick. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to see me, Miss Faxton. You've got five minutes. Okay, I'll get right to the point. I work for Freakin' and Booth, and uh, I go with the deal. Exactly. What does that mean, Miss Brooks? <laughs> if you want to find out, it's going to take a lot longer than five minutes. Oh, she's into it. Oh, oh what'll I wear? Whatever you like. I'll be there. Give it a whirl. <laughs> That's where I wear my cologne. <laughs> I think that's what the dudes are meant by fall down hilarious because yeah. she's always fallen. <laughs> oh, I just love the physical comedy. I love it. There's just nothing funnier than somebody like rolling an ankle and the the, fa the face that their face makes when it happens. Oh, it's just so funny. Hi. <laughs> Probably the safest way down the stairs. She's so unique. I love it. Willie, Amanda, how you doing, Will? All right. Michelle. Oh boy, you were right, Margo. Devil's keep keeping a close eye on him. You know, I'll just, I'll just put these in my purse, okay? Excuse me. Oh, she doesn't know what to do here. If you were a man that turned into a woman, had a woman's body all of a sudden, wouldn't you want to see what it was like having sex with a woman oh, yeah, as I a woman? Know by now. <laughs> you know, it has one of those, uh, you know, those, those snappy crotches. Because clearly, Steve is attracted to her. So you'd think that this wouldn't be a a sticking point, but I don't know. And then she started kissing me. And I fainted. <laughs> All the blood's rushing to a place that not used, she's not used to. He's not used to. No, he's used to blood rushing straight there. Mm. Women don't utilize quite as much blood in that area. You want me to tell you why you couldn't handle it? Unless you'd like me to jump off the fucking roof. She's gay. No kidding. And gay, male or female, scares the living hell out of you. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> That's how you run through the house. When I'm not wearing a bra, yeah. Have you ever tried running with boobs? Nope. No, it doesn't feel good if they're not secured. I'll hold them for you. Yeah. He's about as sensitive to a woman's needs as Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Why are you so pissed off? I'm sick and tired of being treated like a piece of meat. <laughs> Welcome to being a woman. I've never been treated like a piece of meat, though. Treat you like a piece of meat? No. Okay, you've treated me like a piece of meat, but... <laughs> if you were really serious, you wouldn't have uh, taken me to this place. Where would you like me to take you? Get some chicken strips and a bunch of drinks. <laughs> you know, being a woman, it's not half bad. It's being both by this big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you someplace where you can be yourself. Wherever that is. Are they taking their drinks? Oh, oh, maybe. <laughs> it's a classy lesbian club. But look at how classy it is, though. You can tell freaking you can have the facts to make out. Thanks, Sheila. Thanks. I forgot 
do this. Doesn't feel right. It's like dancing with you. What? <laughs> this doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right when you dance with me? <laughs> For you. Oh. Well, it feels great when I dance with you. You get all confused. Uh, I just prefer horizontal dancing. <laughs> I only came on to you to get the facts to the count. Ooh. Sheila, listen to me. Listen to me. Let, let me explain to you. Listen, you don't understand. You have a problem, Miss Faxton? Hey, fuck off, okay? It's all right, Nancy. No, it's not all right, Nancy. I don't like being great. <laughs> she works out. Must be an American gladiator. <laughs> she does kind of look like an American gladiator. Oops. Oh. <laughs> the devil's still playing <laughs> the piano dressed up as a woman. As you could see, I'm not doing very good so far. Would it be kosher if I prayed to you for a little help? At least she was honest about yeah, the reason why she yeah. was being nice, right? What is that smell? Brimstone. You'll get used to it after a few hundred years. Who in hell are you? The devil. Have you found one female who likes Steve Brooks? Oh, I haven't talked to them all yet. I bet there's not a man alive who wouldn't sell his soul for the chance to jump in a sack with you. The devil's always trying to make deals. You want to hedge your bet with me? Make eternity a little less? Ew. Did you see Rosemary's baby? Yeah. What? No! No! I didn't see Rosemary's baby. Cover your ears. You're, you're still wearing your headphones. <laughs> We're not talking about it. Oh, spoilers. We gotta watch Rosemary's Baby. Boy, this has gotta be so confusing for her because she is Steve, so she's not attracted to men. But the women that would be attracted to her because she's a female are lesbians, and he's not attracted to lesbians either. So <laughs> it's kind of screwed. Got nobody. I've called this meeting to congratulate Amanda. It's like, who would he have sex with? I'm. I'm surprised that she still gave him the account. Yeah, I'm surprised too. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's because she was honest with her. I expect you to give me your most qualified, most experienced, and most political executive. Do you have someone in mind? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. What about Dan? Ooh. Oh, I'd be honored. Fine. He was just sniffing his watch band over there. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. <laughs> Watch band sniffer. I want you on the team. Oh, good. Well, why don't we uh, discuss it over dinner at Sardi's? Unless you prefer to go someplace a little more private. Then I can show you off. Shun her how she was being treated like meat by her, too. I'm, uh, I'm doing a book about the advertising business and the men who have been successful in the field. I understand that you went to high school with Mr. Stephen Brooks. Proof that knocked me up? <laughs> oh, I, I understand, yeah. I just can't print it. Oh, another one bites the dust. Brenda, I'm calling about Stephen Brooks. Hello? Uh, Brenda? Shit! Hair is infuriating. It's the worst. Yeah, that's why I went bald. What <laughs> else? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh yeah, I had a haircut. Like it? Yeah. It's gotta be a wig, right? Yeah. Hey Walker, looks like you got the problem. Well, we should take the problem outside. Let's go do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Oh, God. Barbara. We're going to get kicked out of Dukes. <laughs> What's the superintendent of her apartment? Yeah. Why are they beating up Duke? Did somebody hurt you? Oh. 
How you doing there, Mrs. Weatherspoon? Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> in the lock. <laughs> okay, come on, Walter. Come yeah. on, take off your pants. Why, Miss Brooks, what would your brother say? <laughs> no, you're too drunk to get home. I don't have to sleep here. Okay. So Let him sleep in his pants. <laughs> get your hand off my ass. You sure? <laughs> 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 Pretty sure. Oh no. Steve's body. Mm. Oh my god. Uh oh. That's not ideal. Oh shoot. And wipe that stupid smile off your face. Walter! Huh? How come you took your shorts off? Oh no. Well, we made love. <laughs> oh god. Maybe that's the loophole, though. I mean, Walt loves Steve. Uh, it has to be a female. It has to be a female. I lost my virginity. Who's the unlucky man? Walter. I was drunk, passed out. She loved it. Bullshit, Walt. She loved it. Oh, God. Why should you care? You're just one of the assholes responsible for this statistic. No, wait a goddamn minute. Oh, that was the devil. Yep. <laughs> this morning, the body of Stephen Brooks, New York advertising executive, was discovered floating in the East River. According to the police, Brooks had been shot three times in the chest. Well, who was that? <laughs> God, I look awful. <laughs> Holy shit. He's still wearing his purse around his neck. If they arrest you, please don't say anything about the little redhead. W w what makes you think they're going to arrest me? We found your gun. Framed. For his own murder. Pretty good move on Margot's part. Yeah. You're under arrest for the murder of Stephen Brooks. You <sighs> Nobody's going to believe her. She's going to end up in a loony bin. That God had sent him back and that he couldn't get into heaven until he found one female who liked him. 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 Steve. Her. <laughs> State your name. Stephen Brooks. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Into the loony bin. How do I feel? How the fuck do you think I feel, Walter? I'm gonna have a baby. Loophole. Bouting a thousand. It's a girl. I bet it's a girl. If it's a girl. The girl automatically loves a mom. I mean, a baby automatically loves their mom. You think so? Automatically. It's gonna be a girl that's gonna be her, his, it's gonna be Steve's loophole. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I guess you really are Steve. How? Oh. Oh. What's wrong? what it's like to have a life inside you it lives because i live there's a part of me that goes on yeah it's a miracle it is an honest to god miracle <laughs> <laughs> that'll doubt don't you think you ought to get married first oh yeah yeah <laughs> Well, it does help the the paperwork for if, if he's his if already. he's on the birth certificate as the father. It doesn't oh, okay. matter whether they're married or not. Amanda, do you take Walter to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you Walter take Amanda to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Are they in the chapel in the mental 
hospital. Yeah, it's something. It's a really big chapel. It must be a Catholic hospital. Saint Lunatics. I, uh, now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Such a meaningful kiss. Your marriage has become an embarrassment to the firm, so I'm going to have to let you go. I was going to quit anyway, Arnold. It would really be an embarrassment for me to have to tell my kid that I work for somebody like you. Ooh, harsh. Nowadays, I'd get you a wrongful termination suit. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah, for getting married? Mm-hmm. Can't get fired for that. <laughs> That's it. That's why they put you at the head of yeah. at my head. I wore a cup that day too. <laughs> I also had my arms strapped down, I think. <laughs> it's a girl. Steve gets to go to heaven. <laughs> Automatic love. I grip on the finger. Oh, babies. Something's wrong, Doc. Amanda? Get her BP. Take the baby now. Amanda? Doc. The cold is not breathing. Oh, doing CPR on her stomach isn't going to help. Meantime, <laughs> you have to decide whether you want to be a male or a female angel. Oh, hey, no. That's a tough one. <sighs> she grew up fast. I love you, Mommy. Kind of looks like a little rumor Willis or something. A great guy and a very special woman. <laughs> I really liked being a man. Naturally. But being a woman had its advantages. Definitely. <laughs> you, you have, have all eternity. eternity. Well, that was a fun one. Those intro and outro songs are interesting. <laughs> they did not seem to fit the... The tone of the movie? No, no. I think that's weird. You don't know what it's like to be a cloud, that's why. <laughs> I think it's a, a weird song to sh shoot with. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I think it's supposed to be like the heavenly song, right? Sure, yeah. yep. Just a weird one. All right, well, uh, what do you think Steve or Amanda's going to pick to be an angel? Male or female? I'd go with female. I feel like he had a lot of growth. She was answering that, like, she was still talking as Amanda. So. Yeah. I feel like she, he had a lot of growth yeah, as gave birth Amanda. Too, so. Yeah. Being a parent really, you know, being a mom really changes your Did a lot more life. with her life as a female. Absolutely. From, I mean bring life into the world mm -hmm. all steve ever did was you know steve couldn't have done that out, so. steve couldn't have done that <laughs> <laughs> all right so what'd you think the physical comedy was was pretty good yeah, yeah pretty good yeah, ellen barkman was pretty good with the she did film. A, a great job making herself look like she was very uncomfortable in her own body right yeah. and, and like acting like a man yeah like walking like a man sitting like a man yeah she did a great job standing like a man just still have no idea who she is but she, she yeah, did I'm good i'm sure it would i can't think of any other movies i've never seen her no, in so. never seen her in anything yeah i liked it yeah it was good it's good physical comedy good uh interesting premise there's lots of body swapping movies out there yeah lots of freaky friday sort of body really, switching this really wasn't swapping though it was just just getting a different yeah. one. It's switching, unique. switching sexes. So yeah, very unique. I don't think there's ever been. I'm trying to think of one where the female is the main character. Most of the time, it's like, like the hot chick. Rob Schneider becomes a and that's, girl. Yeah, that's mostly a girl becoming Rob Schneider. Right, right. right. Same with Freaky. Yeah, and that was a Vince girl Vaughn. becoming Vince Vaughn. Yeah. So yeah, there's not really a. A man becoming a woman, kind of. You're right. Other than like Joanna Man or something. Where they dress <laughs> yeah. up like a woman. <laughs> so, yeah. That was, that was an interesting and unique uh, take on it. Yeah. So, pretty good.
I don't feel like anyone else is going to watch it, but I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, the dudester. Well, what should people comment on after Switch? What the hell is Ellen Barkin in? Does anyone know what Ellen Barkin is? Yeah, what Ellen other Barkin Ellen Barkin, is? Barkin films do you like? I guess what I could IMDB it, but she, somebody tell me. Let us know in the comments your favorite Ellen Barkin film. Or yeah. Maybe she's in TV, other than Switch, of course. Right. Yeah. Since this was her, I mean, dudester said this was her best film. And it was fall down I can see why. So. It was very funny. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, comment, subscribe. You can be like the dude stir if you feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want to get your chance at a special request like the dude stir. Or you get an early access, full income, free access to pulls, helps people we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.